guys, it's Inkarella. I'm back with a eBay knockoff palette review slash tutorial. Okay, so um, my boyfriend got me the Beauty Killer palette by Jeffree Star off of eBay. And I thought, originally I was like, oh my god, I'm never using that palette. But then once I actually started digging into it and I almost used it, I was like, why don't I film this? You know, see if it works good on camera. So this is technically a first impressions. I hope you guys really enjoy it. And I want you guys to know if you can buy makeup off of eBay or not. You know, it might turn out really well. It might turn out really bad. You never, ever, ever know. But this is the look that I got with it. So keep on watching. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, then like the video. Okay, guys. So let's get into this tutorial. Um, I was running errands earlier. Therefore, my brows are already done. But yeah, that's really all that's on my face that is done. Oh, I didn't bring my mirror out. Let me take my little middies off because it's really hard to do your makeup with rings on. You end up getting like foundation all over the place, trust me. Okay, so I'm putting on primer. Okay, so this video really isn't a tutorial. Like, I was going to make it a tutorial, but it's not a tutorial whatsoever. It's just me just doing my makeup and trying out some eBay makeup, you know? I want to see if it works because that means I've been spending money for nothing. Damn, I forgot my mirror. Babe! Can you bring me my mirror? Huh? Can you bring me my vanity mirror? Yes. Thank you. Okay. It's really hot because I have this fucking light on me. Okay. Keep coming back. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have been breaking out lately and I have no idea why I've been breaking out. Like, I don't get it. Okay, guys, so my boyfriend bought me the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette, but not knowing where to buy it from. Anyway, long story short, I tagged him on a post about the Beauty Killer palette on Instagram kind of giving him a hint like hey buy me this so he actually did he surprised me with it and immediately upon opening it see this is the package see like the regular Jeffree Star package but the back is not the back is not how usually a Jeffree Star product would look but I know how Jeffree Star Warehouse is. Like, they're very unprofessional. So I was like, maybe, you know, maybe it is his. And then when you open it and you look at that, that's correct. That's his logo and everything. That's the name of the palette. You know, the pink's a tad bit off. But I'm like, okay. But the back, nothing. And then also, when you look at the mirror, right here, where my thumb is, it's supposed to be a logo. His Jeffree Star logo. And there's no logo. The pans are the size they're supposed to be. They're the shades they're supposed to be. See? Like, they are pretty much what they're supposed to look like. Now, I just want to try them um, and see if they are what they're supposed to be. Okay, Raw Beauty Christie had me buy the ColourPop concealers because she swears by them. And you know, I love my Tarte Shape Tape, but if I have a cheaper option, hunty, baby girl, sis, I'm taking this cheaper option. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to apply this to my eye as so, kinda as a primer uh, for the eyeshadow, you know? So, mm, I haven't used this, so I really won't know if that affects the eyeshadow negatively or Good. Oh, God. Should have tried this out by itself first. But you know what? I'm going to wet these beauty sponges and I'm going to be right back. Hold on. Let me just blend this in real quick before it dries. Ooh, that's some coverage. Look at that coverage. Okay, guys. Let's not get too happy because we don't know how it creases yet. Okay. Okay, sis. Oh, okay. I'm a little too excited. Now I'm happy. I'm happy. I think my eyeshadow is going to come out very nice now. I'm super excited. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me not get too excited because we never know how this might come out. 
And I know this is too light for me, but whenever I do my eyes, like for instance, I bought two concealers from ColourPop. I bought the one that like goes under your eyes and then I bought the one specifically for priming my eyes because my eyes don't have a very lot of like discoloration, but also if I'm using like pastels or very light colors because I am very, very light skin, they most of the time don't come off on my skin as pigmented as they would someone else. Like you think because like, oh, you're closer to the fair side, any shade is going to show on you, but not really because tans and neutrals blend right into my skin. Yellows blend right into my skin. If the pink is soft enough, it's blending right into my skin. And you really can't even tell unless like I have like a very intense light on me. Okay, so now I'm going to set this with my um, Maybelline Fit Loose Powder. It's nothing new. If you guys follow my channel, you know I love it. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I don't know which sponge I want to use. Now, you're not baking your eye. Like, I'm not going to bake my eye. Like, that's just ridiculous. Like, I know some people that do that because they really want that, like, white to stay. But that's if you're working on a certain look, in which I am not. So, I'm not going to bake my eyeballs. I don't even think that's a great idea. Anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Studio blending brush and just kind of like get all that powder off if it's too much it will affect the pigment of your eyeshadow and we don't want that okay it looks phenomenal like I know you guys can't tell but it looks really 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 good like just the concealer and how it's set like I'm actually surprised it almost it does it does look better than my shape tape yeah, I said that. I said it. I said it. Everybody's been scared to say that. Like, they've been like, oh, it's so close to Shape Tape. It's so like sim Shape Tape. It's so similar. Hunty, it's knocking on Shape Tape's door. And it's like, sis, we coming for money, so give it to us. Okay? Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Beauty Killer palette. I'm going to take Courtney, which is this. Okay, it's going to be hard showing you guys this palette because it's new. So it doesn't really, it's not that flexible yet. Hopefully I don't break it. You know, it is from eBay. Um, so I'm going to take this Courtney shade right here and just kind of put that all over my lid. That's more or less my transition shade. We have a China white, but my primer kind of already whitened up my eye. I don't really need that. Okay. So there is a lot of fallout. Like if you guys see, like there's a lot, a lot, a lot. Tap it off the brush and let's go in and see how this works. Okay, so there's not really any pigment there yet, but that can be worked on. Oh, okay. Yeah. On camera, it's showing up, but in person, you don't really see it that well. By the way, guys, I am using my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I don't really use this for concealer. I use it for transition shades because it's just so fluffy, and it gets down the product just right. You know, because you don't want to brush this too dense. But you also don't want to brush this too fluffy because then it doesn't really disperse the product evenly. It'll choose one point in your eye and just like pack it on there. It's weird. It's because most of like fluffy brushes, they have, they come to a point where they come to a dome. And that part right there where it's like the lengthiest, that's where, wherever that's touching, that's where all your product is going to gather. Okay, so I'm really just trying to build this shade up. And it's taking quite a while. And I don't know. So I'm going to do the other eye and be right back. Okay, so I am back-ish. Um, I did the other eye. It's not really building on this eye. And I'm not really sure why. You know, I applied the same amount of concealer to this eye. So I don't really know. Does it look like it's the same? See on camera, you guys are like, is it my camera? Like, you, it's picking up that it's there. But I'm looking right at it and it's not there. So I don't know. Maybe I'm blind. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I expected it to see if it was fake. I was looking at it and I'm like, there are one, two, three, four. four. No, one, two, three, four, five. Nope, there's four mattes because there's a really dark brown and then there's a black called Black Rainbow which has like specks of glitter in it. And I don't really like glitter, you know, it's not my thing. Okay. I'm not really a shimmer gal and especially like you can't put a shimmer in your crease. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Star Power right here. That's that very, very, very neon pink. And I'm going to take my Moda, uh, what is this? I guess it's one of the, like the mermaid or unicorn collections. Whatever that little ass kitty shit that they do. And I'm going to put this right in my crease and let's see how that blends out. Okay. Come through, pigment. Come through. Are you? No, it's really patchy. Oh, it's really, really patchy, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. I wonder if this is safe for my eyes because it was sold off eBay. Well, who cares? So recently, guys, I've been watching Cuckian's Courtroom. It's basically like a YouTuber who, uh, I guess, exposes beauty pages or beauty YouTubers and like scandals. Like, and I was, I'm, I've watched like maybe five of his videos and I've been trying to decide like, y'all see that? Y'all see that? And I've been trying to decide like if he's a real, uh, like, if he's serious, like, if what he's saying is true, or if he's just another, like, blog looking for, like, I guess, whatever them blogs do. Like, basically, blogs that, like, talk about people, I don't really, I don't agree with you. Like, what are you doing? That's your life? Just to talk about people? But, yeah. But if he's, like, releasing scandals on some, like, investigative shit, which it seems like he is, because he be hunty. He served his tea hot, Okay. So, I be watching him like, this shit can't be fake. He be having like all type of receipts. So, I've been enjoying him lately. He put me onto a lot of stuff. And kind of turned me off towards a lot of people that I kind of looked up to. And that kind of just opened my eyes like, why the fuck are you looking up to these other people who don't really do shit but review makeup? And they're not even really that well of artists. Like, they don't really have great artistry skills. They're just more or less like they have a big following. And they know how to do basic makeup. So, they're considered like the bomb.com. When you can like just learn yourself. Like, be a self-taught. Like, I'm trying to do now. And, you know, just vibe out. This eyeshadow is literally so patchy. It is so patchy, guys. No. Okay, so there's like a lot of pigment right here. Right here. And like very little right here. And it's blended in with the Courtney shade. And this completely made it disappear. Oh, God. Okay guys, so I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. So I did the other eye and what I'm starting to notice is the consistency of this pigment is almost like chalk. Like it's literally just chalk. Like it looks like I took like a childhood chalk set and put it on my eye. So anyway, I'm going to take China White, that's right here, and I'm going to be placing that on my brow bone. I just kind of want to see how it works, like how it functions as a brow bone shadow maybe that one didn't work mm. okay I mean I can't really comment on this because of my skin tone I, don't, I wouldn't know if it's pigmented or not I mean it doesn't really seem pigmented it's it's uh, it's diluting the pink that I've brought all the way up there but it's not really doing much yeah, it's not really doing much. Okay, so next I, if you see, I brought the pink sides inward because I'm going to be doing a spotlight eye. Uh, let's see. Now, the shades we have left that are shimmers are absolutely positively gorgeous. I just don't know which one I want. Blue. I know you guys get tired of seeing me do blue, but watch, watch another channel. All right, so I'm going to wet my brush with my uh, Milani Make It Last spray. Just to kind of help the pigment, you know? Matter of fact, no. 
I want to see how it reacts dry and then I'm going to use my wet brush. This is just a regular brush I got from Walmart like maybe three years ago. Oh, hunty. This looks like it got a little pigment to it. All right. Let's see. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. It's so blotchy. Yeah. Okay. We see how it works with this. <laughs> Let's try to wet one. Okay. Then, oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, so this blue, once wet, is amazing. Like, oh my god, it is... Okay, it, it's not the best, because it's not really that reflective. It almost starts to look like a matte. But, yeah. Okay, guys, so... I did the other eye and I'm really starting to like like this candy cotton cotton candy I say thing backwards a lot don't pay me no mind otherwise you will become illiterate too all right so I'm going to take this ruby brush that I got in my ipsy subscription bag I believe this month and now I'm just going to take that same shade star power and just blend in those rough sides and it's really hard to blend in with a shadow that won't perform the way it's supposed to. It's really, really hard, guys. Oh, no. Okay. Let's see if wing liner can save it. And I'll be right back. I'm going to put some wing liner on and then... Because if a look looks too shitty on your eyes, sis, you just need some wing liner. Okay guys, so I put on some wing liner and my wings are never sisters, they're always cousins, so don't judge me if this one's going that way and that one's going that way, I don't really give a fuck. But, it made it hard to put the wing on because of the differences in the shadow. Like because it's like a lot right here and none right here because it's so patchy, that the sh like it was dragging the felt tip of the liner. And trust me, this is a good liner, this is the um... L'Oreal Infallible, Infallible 12 Hour Super Slim. I love this liner. It's the only liner I use when I know I absolutely need a precise black liner. So, uh, does it work with liner? My liner that I always use? No, which I know is a good liner. It might work with another liner, but I don't know. Now I'm going to put on my um, Ciate Wonderland mascara, and then I'm going to put on some lashes, then I'm going to put on my whole face, and then I will be back to tell you guys what I really think of the palette and a more in-depth in depth in depth thoughts okay be right back okay guys so this is the wait okay guys so this is the finished look i actually really really like it you know up close and like in my face you can see that the eyeshadow isn't the best but when you throw a whole full face of makeup on you can't really tell unless somebody's like hovering over you like, what is that? So anyway, my thoughts on this palette, the eBay version, it's terrible. It's absolutely positively terrible. I don't advise anybody ever in life to buy makeup off of eBay. It's a terrible, I mean, I don't advise anybody to buy anything off of eBay unless it's like a verified seller or you're buying through PayPal and you know you're going to get your money back if you don't get what you ordered. But yeah, I don't even buy makeup off Amazon because it's always taxed a dollar or two more. And also, like, it's just way better to buy things off the site in which they sell the makeup from, you know? Because when you try to get the cheaper option, you're getting the cheaper option for a reason. And that's because it doesn't work. So, um, the blue works when I threw some, um, 
make it last spray on it and the pink didn't work at all it may be looking very pigmented to you guys right now I'm not quite sure how the camera is seeing it I will see once I edit but will I ever use this palette again no will I give it away to a friend no will I give it away to somebody that I don't care if they like it or not yes I will but anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you even got to this part have a good day enjoy your spring it's starting to feel really really nice outside or at least in jersey it is and you know subscribe if you like me or don't i don't care okay bye guys Jen, get your shit together. Let me start that over. You stutter a lot. Do I? It's not even stutter, it's a tongue tie. You yeah. don't stutter, you just yeah. You're good. Oh god, I hate every time I do makeup, my nose starts wrong. Oh. Okay.